as a daring hero and the only man to escape the Cerberus trap. They might even put him in charge. And this intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. Good, because now we know who the A-Hall is that gives least the information for the resistance. Okay, let's continue onward here. I'm not sure how long I'll be playing. I'm just doing a continuous playing until um, one, I go out on a full on our drive space or two or tired too, too tired to continue but I'm gonna keep it up as good as I can let's see do we have any we don't have any maps dang I'm most full we've been here Okay, let's find another way to the stasis stasis pod. Can we go down here? Oh, of course we can. Is there any way in here? No, of course not. Okay, we're going back up. We're on this edge. Are uh, not. Of course. Ugh, why can't you go up there? Come on, dude, it's not that far. Jesus. Okay, we have to find another way around here. Perhaps. No, of course not. Um, I'm just taking wild guesses here. Out. Okay, so we can't go down that way. And I'm betting you guys that there will be an attack anytime soon. Still checking this surrounding area just to be on a safe side and make sure I'm not missing anything because no that's all she wrote okay come on let me move your s there we go Lots of bogeys yeah. inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. What else is new? Ah, uh, crap. Piece of shit. 
vanish into thin air. What the hell? Ah, no, probably is the deal. Hey, what's going on? Don't use your head. Gotcha. Any more eyes like and prices? Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. Yeah, take your sweet time. There's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Heavy mech, don't let it get close! Whoa, holy crap, what the hell is that? Ooh. Better! Okay, I'm gonna s shield, 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 shield. Okay, we're gonna try to switch over here. And use the healing. Oof. <laughs> Come on, Shepard. Get on. Ammo. Oh, of course not. First aid. Okay, that was the armor. Okay, keep the incendiary ammo because it does the most damage against armor. So. Come on, I guess we should go through the shotgun as opposed to no chance here. It's a ammo. And boom goes the dynamite. So, gun. That didn't hurt. That didn't hurt. That hurt. They didn't explode. Let's see who it is. There, you got it. Got it. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Or not. Get to your life pod now. 
so you so Eden Prime is the old protein Empire? Have a nice day. I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Oh boy. Asari. Human. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Yeah. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Not yet. Looks like we have to... Uh... A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. Oh boy. I'm on my way. Okay, so now can we use the elevator? What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contract protocol with a new species assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. <laughs> He's meditating. He's not doing any harm. Knock it off. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? <laughs> that depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. And what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which? Why won't they heat it? 
Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? I prefer Commander, and we did our best with what we knew. Your message wasn't exactly specific. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. I'm guessing bad news. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. And no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dry. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. It doesn't. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. Yeah. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. I'm sorry I finally mastered writing. <laughs> I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Let's... The sensory ability. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Okay, Prothean civilization. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born... Our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? 
Any could oppose us if they wished, and if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried, none succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Protein device. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. The Protean War with the Reapers. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Yeah, well, that's true. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system. Planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated. Converted. Then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Okay, so the final question. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, even I would go like, say what? Well, thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Though I still need time to recover, the shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. Well... Well... Plus, oh... 
Ooh. I had nothing else. Oh. Oh, well. Okay, we can't we can't use the memory shards yet, so it seems so just I'm gonna explore the ship a little bit now if I have a choice. And we get the starboard card. Hang on, you missed crew member. You mean the biggest story in fifty thousand years that I can in no way talk about? <laughs> Just wondering. Hey, how you doing? Diana? How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Elcor. I, I can't remember that race. Sorry. Well, uh, more exploring. Yes. It has come to my attention. Oh, here we go. Captain skip it. I want to check out that new armor I got. If I have the option. Private terminal. Yada 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 yada. Ah, oh, what a relief. Let's check out. I gotta I gotta check out. Oh come on. And this one is too gaggy. And this is too This one I will go for. Where is my... Casa Fabrication. Where's the armor set? What is the armor set that I... Thank you. The armor set that I was supposed to have. I, I don't have it yet. Well, let's head to... Let's have to screw that, like, see if we can... Oh, what the hell is this? There's more a wall? I think. That's life support. Port observation deck. Nothing going on here. Life support, of course, yeah. I think this is the way to the med, yeah. This is the way we stir the quark, stir the quark, stir the quark. Olé! Reassign power bonuses. 
pre-assigned powers, AI core. I thought it was supposed. I thought we had the possibility to research stuff. Ah, uh, that's the AI we fought against. earlier stages. Protheans actually completed the crucible? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. I just wish our Prothean knew more about how dangerous their weapon might be. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Yeah. Plus two, parallel? No upgrades. Of course. Of course, my horse. What else we have? This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. 2171 to 2185. Did remind me, remind me to clean up these old notes. Perhaps reviewing them will lead to something useful for the Prothean device, Lear. Universal Ceres agreed to sponsor me at the Protean Dig site on Dretirab or Va. Very exciting. Professor Hennel is heading the expedition herself. Maybe I can ask her for her opinion on my thesis outline. Attachment. The uh, thesis on Protean First Contact Protocols. 74. I believe Dr. Jo Joshua Joshon 